thanks for dropping in. This is a 3D printed water molecule. It was assembled using my newest educational design, an oversized molecular model kit. And here are just a few of the parts I printed to demonstrate what the kit can do. Like a typical molecular kit, there are two primary components, atoms and bonds. The atoms come in a few variations, from one to four ports. And the bonds that connect those atoms come in four lengths, from mini to long. The parts for this kit are so large, I needed to design a more secure mechanism to lock the pieces together. That's where these port caps come into play. Just slide a bond into the cap, and then screw the cap onto an atom. The bonds are securely held in place, but they're still free to rotate. This is perfect for demonstrating how molecules are a lot more dynamic than a drawn diagram might suggest. But what if you're building a molecule that uses double or triple covalent bonds, like carbon dioxide? For that, you'll need to use something a little more flexible, like this springy bond, which I printed in TPU. These connect the same way as the other bonds, but for extra security, you may want to switch out the standard cap for a split cap. If you don't mind keeping track of another part, split caps offer an even stronger hold by fully enclosing the end of the bond. They also look a little nicer. As you've seen, these pieces are fairly easy to assemble and break down. But what if you want something a little more permanent? For that, you can use these alternate caps that lock together with an M5 socket head bolt and a nut. Once the cap is attached to the atom, the hardware is completely hidden. You can even take this a step further and add a bit of glue to the cap heads. If you'd like your own set, this kit is very easy to print. While the threads modeled into the atoms have some steep overhangs, most printers will be able to handle these without any supports. For my prints, I added a very subtle 0.1 millimeter outer fuzzy skin to all the spherical surfaces. This doesn't have any practical purpose, but it gives the prints a nice feel and reduces the appearance of layer lines. I should warn you that a full kit will take a lot of print time. These parts are pretty large. On the other hand, you can save time by printing just the pieces you want now and add to your kit as needed. As with my other educational models, the files are shared under a Creative Commons public domain license. All the parts can be printed, altered, reposted, or even sold for free. Of course, if you do something cool with a design, I always love to hear about it, but that's not part of the license. Well, that's it for now. So until next time, happy printing and thanks for stopping by. Did you spot this molecule in the intro? Yes, I printed PLA out of PLA. Well, two links of the PLA chain at least. Even the springy bonds are PLA, although I don't recommend that for your own prints. PLA will quickly deform when under a constant load. But what sort of madman would print PLA out of PETG? Not I. <laughs>